It's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205. I got a special guest in the building, man. I got I don't even know what we want to call you today, dog. Cause I you want to be Lucius Washington or you want to you got a you got a different name? Which one you want to be today? Lucius? Oh, you you silent man and shit. <laughs> He's silent man. We got angry man and silent man in this motherfucker and shit. Um, yeah. So what you want to be though, so I can know what to refer to you as? Yeah, I'll be. Uh... Militant man. You militant man? Yeah, militant man. Today. I mean, might as well. You got the fatigues on this shit. You know what I'm saying? And of course, we got the regulars, man. I got angry principal in the building. Drink, train. <laughs> My man, Bo, holding it down. I say. And of course, man, I already told you who I am, dog. So we're going to get to it, man. We've been off for a couple of weeks. Thank y'all for hanging out through this hiatus. You know what I'm saying? I had a little vacation time. Uh, so today, uh, our starter is going to be a wooden, uh, Woodenville. I was going to say that all wrong again. Um, I had heard of this. Uh, I never actually had it. I think what intrigued me, though, is uh, actually the design of the bottle kind of intrigued me. And then the fact that it says on the side it was made in Washington. So um, that kind of intrigued me. Uh, have any of you guys ever had this before? No, I have had it. Okay. It's, it's in the rotation. Okay, it's in the rotation. I got you. All right. Any, anybody else? I you have not. It? Okay. I I think that is uh I think that is is, is kind of ill that it was made in Washington though like that's uh cause they got a real bourbon scene out in, in Washington. Yeah, I, I never even knew that though. Not only they have the wineries, but bourbon is uh yeah. a big thing out there. Yeah, I figure. Yeah, I figure about the wines and stuff like that. Um, so we ain't gonna take too long. We gonna jump right off into it. So, uh, as angry principal normally does, he's gonna pop the court. We go uh, pause for the sound. There we go. I already got a good one. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, your mic not working. <laughs> well, nobody go hear that shit. Yeah. It came out, uh, seemed like it came out kind of thick. <laughs> thick, thick, thick. <laughs> let's see what we're talking about here. All right. So, let's just see. So, this is uh, Woodenville. This is my very first time. Let's see if it's something I can compare it to. So just off of the nose, I'm gonna tell you, this, it don't smell like nothing I've had before. Man, now I'm smelling the deodorant on my hands. Hold on. <laughs> That's not gonna work. It's not gonna be good. Is it some kind of cream? Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, oh yeah, I always get the little caramel, but it's something different though, cause it's not as caramel as like a mm. uh, Buffalo Trace. <laughs> Man, apples hit me right away. Yeah. Apples, yeah, yeah apples. Yeah, apples. Right away. Right. Yeah. Man, yeah. Hit me right away. See, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah. Mm. They always, they always so technical with it. I'll be knowing. <laughs> All right, I gotta taste it. I just got a little see. citrusy, maybe. A little brown Definitely, sugar. yeah. I'll just, yeah, for sure. Yep. Man, yeah, okay. What's that dessert? Uh, what's that dessert? The creme? Uh, creme brulee? Yeah. Creme brulee. Yeah. It's kind of got that. So it's got yeah, that. Yeah, it kind of does. Yeah, it's yeah. got that smell, but the finish is, is pretty spicy, though. <laughs> <laughs> a little spicy at the end. Um, It's not as sweet as I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. Like, the, the smell is a lot sweeter than the taste. So the apples come right out, the butterscotch. Butterscotch. Mm, butterscotch, yeah. I hadn't thought about butterscotch. That, that's serious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but not as much, because uh, what was I drinking before? I'm trying to think it was something else that was kind of creamy, but it wasn't. Uh, is it what we what we had last time? I don't even remember. Uh, damn. <laughs> right. <laughs> now, but, okay, so now I'm getting the, the char of the barrel on the finish. Okay. I know that Woodenville, Woodenville is supposed to have their own particular coopers that they go to for their barrels mm. and they like uh roast the, the wood first then they char it so it's supposed to be something that's proprietary to them or, whatever, or the process that they asked for okay they're gonna use and then um i'm wondering if the wood's coming up from because the apple taste is so hard in here because you mm -hmm. have washington state apples <laughs> right i'm wondering what they were using <laughs> i know they have to use oak but yeah you know if you got an orchard around you it's got a little bit of influence in there somewhere else. Yeah, I, I didn't taste it, but like that that cork, the minute even brought it with you know within the range of my nose, yeah, apples hit me right away, right now, off the bat. I think uh, this is considered a craft distillery, mm -hmm. but the big thing is they get all their grains from one farm. Okay, okay. so yeah. that's that's unique. Yep, when you only get not sourcing uh, it from different areas. Yeah. One spot, mm -hmm. one family only. You can you know. Uh, Trace where Everything's the, the yeah grown the same way, right? Yeah, all that. Yep. Hey, so I'm not sure if you uh, if you smoke yet before you took a sip. So for me, what it did the uh, the smoke took away the cream, like it just tastes like 
apples and spice <laughs> to be at the end. You know what? I, you know what I think it is. I think that I mistake spice for uh, for char. I think sometimes that might be it. I think so because I what I what the last couple times I said something was spicy. You said it was like char char oak. Uh, what did it do for yours? Uh, okay, so I'm smoking an onyx mm -hmm. old, and if anyone had onyx, they can be real strong. Yeah. This actually made it a little mild. Right, because I think the down, the cream brought, offsetting it, it, it is. I think it's the same. Yeah. So what we got here? We got a, uh, a flat flathead. Head. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I think it's the same kind of thing. I think that the cream kind of offset the boldness of the cigar, which is a good offset for me because, you know, I, for whatever reason, I usually like sweet on sweet. <laughs> I don't know. I'm got that weak palate and shit. But, that, um, that sweet savory. The sweet, sweet savory. Sweet savory. This is good, though. It's not what I was expecting, though. Off of the smell, it's not what I was expecting. Now, they do, uh, I think, play around with different finishes. Mm -hmm. Th not this one. Okay. But they do other, other versions where they finish. This is at 90 proof. Yep. And this was bottled in 2010. Yeah. So, uh, I'm sorry, this was distilled in 2010. Okay. Gotcha. Right, it doesn't say when exactly it was bottled and, yeah, it doesn't say when it was bottled, but. So, you don't know how long it was aged, yeah. basically. It's got to be pretty, uh. I, I would say his age for at least maybe four or five only because it's it's kind of dark skin. Right. <laughs> it's a little dark skin out here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. supposedly wherever they put it, uh, their Rick House, mm -hmm. it's supposed to be closer to the mountains where you have more extreme weather okay. uh, changes. So yeah. the juice goes in and out of the wood yeah. a lot more so you'll get a different taste. And that's how you're getting that darker color. Yeah. It, may not, it may not, and I'm sorry, I read the wrong thing. It's a, The company was established. In 2010, there's no age statement on there. Oh shit! Sure. You know, so this is know. new. Yeah, this is this could be two years, two three years, years, years yeah. Yeah. six yeah. months old. Yeah. I could, I, I yeah. honestly couldn't imagine being that like that young though, just because of the right. color of it. Though. It definitely doesn't taste young. But no, it, it has a good taste, and I think uh, the fact that they put it in such extreme weather conditions yeah. may have helped with the color. I get dog. I got a question. I'm gonna ask you. It's a strong ass looking bottle though. It, I, I like this bottle. Yeah. Dog, that, yeah. the, initially the bottle is what caught my eye. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And I'm, thank God that it wasn't like the bottle from uh, what was Caribou Cross. Yeah, thank yeah, God it wasn't yeah. that. The presentation of that bottle is is lovely, but the the product is uh, is trash. Diet bourbon, right? <laughs> Diet bourbon. I'm telling you, I told you, I taste like colored water. <laughs> well, actually, my exact words was Flint water, but <laughs> I know right, I wasn't I supposed to say that. Mm. So, and then there I did, just said it again. They still ain't so, got right. clean water. They still ain't got clean water. You got a new president and everything. So anyway. Uh, <laughs> Militant guy, and shit, militant man. This your first time on the show, dog. Tell us, uh, you know what what this experience is like with this uh, with Woodenville. And you never had Woodenville, right? No, I haven't. Uh, okay, so yeah, what's your experience like? What you think about it? I think it's very strong, you know, very strong in its taste. Uh, this is my first time having it, so you know, I'm getting the feel by the experts around me to, you know, uh, confirm the taste that I think I'm tasting yeah. and stuff like that. So. It's definitely a learning experience, and uh, it's always good to uh, to add another one in your repertoire. So, how long you been drinking bourbon? Uh, I've been drinking bourbon, I say for uh, for the past six years. Okay, and actually, okay. Uh, right here from the host himself mm. he got, me, got me into it. He got me into it. Oh, okay. Actually, yeah. So you use a Kanye convert too? Yep. Okay. Yeah, well, you, well, I'm guilty of that too. Actually, I think you was you was doing rum too then. Yeah, I was okay, doing rum too. Yeah. I still do rum though. Yeah, I still do rum. Yeah. I island the two. So I was gonna say he like he talking about the rum. real yeah, rum. Yeah, he's the rum rum. Bro, he's yeah, the brand yeah, that rum. That rum the god. Dog, let me tell you. When I was in Haiti, I don't I don't know. I forget what this shit is called, but. Like these folks, like it was like all the women in the neighborhood. They got together. They was putting liquors and fruits and shit in this big ass bowl. And I don't know what it was, but that shit was good. Yeah. And the nigga was got man. you fucked up, bro. I'm telling you, we so done that before. Sound yeah. like sound like date rape. Right. I know you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, y'all islanders, boy. Yeah. That shit sound like date rape, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that shit sound like I'm gonna get pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> all kinds of fine Haitian women down there. Boy. Yeah, shout out hey, to Haiti though. Big ass black party and shit. Right. Though, yeah. yeah, shout out to Haiti, man. Yeah, they kick um, ass. For sure. <laughs> I got to say this since you bring up Haiti real quick. I know okay. I'm getting off subject, but What's up? hey, man, check out what's going on in Haiti for real, though. Yeah. You know, they're, they're trying to oust the, the U.S. back uh, uh, regime that was put in there because, yeah. you know, they mistreating all the people and, you know, uh, uh, wasting resources and things like that, man. So, sure. yeah, just 
just you know, shout out to Haiti, man. Bro, I hope y'all do y'all thing. But they always trying to fuck over Haiti. Bro. Them cats ain't got a break since. That's what I'm saying. Since yeah. never. They since never got over that loss. Man. 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 Right. They no, they've been, been, they been fucking with Haiti for a long time, mm-hmm. bro. Like for real, for real. Anyway, back to the bourbon. Yeah, back to the bourbon, dog. Uh, <laughs> a little, little solemnness right there and shit. Also, my fault. So, uh, militant man, we were saying. Uh, so, this is different. Um, if you would compare it to something that you've had thus far, is it something you would compare it to? Uh, I really can't compare it to anything that I've had lately. Mm-hmm. I just know it's the, uh, out of everything that I've had, that's the, the strongest taste for me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, okay. you know, it's, so it's a, a change of pace too, you know. Yeah, it's interesting sure. because the different flavors that's in it too, you know, it's it's still smooth even though it's strong at the same time. Mm-hmm. So uh, I definitely can appreciate a good bourbon like that. What's been your yeah. favorite bourbon so far? Um, my favorite has been uh, a rare eagle. Mm. Eagle, eagle rare, eagle rare. rare. Eagle rare. Oh, oh, okay, that's, that's a good choice. Yeah. A good choice. Hey, yeah, yeah, I was gonna say eagle. <laughs> I love that shit. Mm-hmm. So yesterday I'm at a store because I need to restock on my eagle rare. Mm-hmm. And I walk into the store. I had only been to this plot one time before, and it was a decent price, so I went ahead and got it. I'm looking up at the bottle for Eagle Rare. They want $69.99 for a bottle of Eagle Rare. Man, that shit $34.99. Right. Oh, oh, right. so somewhere somewhere in there it is. I look his maker's mark, just regular maker's mark, mm. $45. Oh, uh, yeah. Holy fool. <laughs> oh, man. So then I'm looking back. That, everything was at least 10 to double. Right. Like the actual price. Because Megan's so Mike looking at show that boy for like, 27 He's like, do you want it? I was like, nah, you, bro. You charged me $70 for some Eagle Rare. <laughs> no, that's double the price, mm-hmm. man. What are you talking about? I'm the lowest. No, you're not. <laughs> you said $70 for a bottle of Eagle Rare. I'm now, bottle. unless something has happened, and we don't know about some scarcity. Hey, did, hey didn't, you, didn't you feel disrespected, though? I felt, because you look like, like I'm stupid. Mm. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. You <laughs> like, feel I don't know that this car is supposed to be $31. Bruh. And you're trying to spend, get me to spend $70 on it. Mm. Yeah, so I love Eagle Rare. It's a go-to. It's an everyday yeah. sipper for me. But to see somebody try to sell it for $60, the bottle of Booker's that I know I bought for $80, mm-hmm. they want $150 at this point. Mm-hmm. Man, what? This they are I'm getting saying. over. This is how bad it was at this point. Damn, well, they must know something we don't know. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Evidently, people, people buying buy it. it. Mm-hmm. Oddly enough, I got put on that Eagle Rare mm-hmm. at Sea House on yeah. your birthday. There you go. Right? There you go. And, 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 uh, and one other one besides that Eagle Rare is Red Breast. Red Breast. Okay. I ain't hip. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not hip. Scotch. No, Irish whiskey. Irish whiskey. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Irish whiskey. I ain't yeah. hip. I ain't really, I ain't gonna hold you up. Like, as far as Irish whiskey goes, I I, I got stuck on fucking Jameson. Like, I, I don't know. I haven't really moved around from that. Yeah. Um, that's my go-to they, Irish whiskey, though, for sure. They got a 12, then they got a 12, uh, uh, a 15, and an 18. Oh, that's they it right here? Some of the prices, but they want a, for some Woodford Reserve, they want $45. What they No, these are $29, $31 nah, bottles. Man. Oh, yeah, they, yeah, they tripping. Yeah, so I, I told them, I said, y'all, y'all cost too much. I won't be back. That Nile Creek, what's that, a pint? For $21? Yeah. yeah. Oh, hell no. They were ridiculous, man. I'll never go back. A pint of Nile Creek for $21. They lost the cover. It pays It pays to know what you're supposed to be uh, yeah. spending for this liquor when you're out here. Yeah, for sure. Especially when it comes to bourbons and whiskeys because, <laughs> like, you'd be amazed, especially when you see some of the, like you said, the third-party markups, like... You'd be amazed to see how much the shit actually costs. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, but on the outside, you got low estate prices available. What? Right. You lying? You where? Lying. Where, uh-huh. where? This was this was in the burbs or this was in the city? On the line of the burbs in the city. Oh well, shit. You know what that is? Mm-hmm. Oh, let's just be honest, dog. We, and it's, we close usually... enough, it's close enough where I live where you know you should know fucking better. So you know where I was going to go with this, and we don't usually get into these conversations, but real quick, I just got to say, like, like black people are just now getting hit to bourbons and whiskeys, and they pro- they probably pulling the okie doke because they're paying for it because they well, used to pay us $60, $70 for some yak. You know I'm not normally a loud person, but I was loud yesterday, Yeah. and I made sure everybody, hey, you know you're supposed to be paying $25 for that, and they wanted $40 for it. Mm-hmm. I said, you're getting gypped, man. Go down the street, and you'll be able to find it for a better price. <laughs> no, it's real so like I was they, lying about it yesterday. They gypped well, people. You must leave. Okay, I'll leave. Yeah. I'm out. I'm going to call the police on you. Know, I'm not going to let you all rob these guys in here, man. <laughs> <laughs> right. like, need, you robbing people in here. I'm not going to do That's exactly what he's doing. Completely yeah. getting robbed. Yeah. Completely getting robbed. Exactly I, I was loud doing. yesterday. I was, I was Disgusting. Completely getting robbed. Just like um just like with the uh, Uncle Nears and we're gonna get off this subject and we'll move on to the next one. But just like the Uncle Nears, 
um, it was over in the hood on the west side and shit. And uh, somebody was looking at the bottom and hit me. It was like, uh, like how much you usually pay for this shit, right? So I'm like, the white label I usually get for like for thirty nine, and then the the, uh, the black label which is a hundred proof and shit usually be like forty nine, ten dollars difference. Mm. The white label over there is sixty dollars. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like, put that shit down and uh, I'll okay. go find it. <laughs> I'll go find it over here because right. yeah, well, fuck that. Yeah, now, but one guy uh, at the liquor store, you know what I mean? The one I normally go to, mm -hmm. he did say, "Listen, uh, now's the time you need to start stocking up on what you want, because soon it is gonna go up. Are, it, things are not only gonna go up, but it's gonna be scarcity because mm -hmm. you don't have uh, as many deliveries happening. Oh, now, yeah. things are changing, things are opening back up, so that may not happen. But at yeah. the time, this was like last summer. Okay. Was, uh, mm -hmm. like, yeah, I just get, yeah, I could understood up. that last summer, yeah. and they was trying to get whatever they could because they wouldn't go get no deliveries. Right. Yeah, right. for sure. All right. Anyway, my bad. Let's get uh, back to. Sorry about that. I took so long. so I got an idea. I'm gonna see if you if you uh, strike this uh, this comparison. But I got one that I actually want to compare this to. I'm gonna see what you say though. Anything that you've had before that's compared to this. Okay, I, so I'm curious if it's gonna be the same one I'm thinking. This one in particular. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put it in the same class as, uh, I want to say, kind of like your Buffalo Trace. Because mm. it's got more of the fruit side on it mm. than your other gateways, like the Clutch Eagle Rare. Pearls. Yeah, you clutch your pearls. <laughs> uh, I am taking a back. So, <laughs> Buffalo Trace has more of that fruity taste to me. Okay. Whereas your... Taking um, a back. <laughs> whereas <laughs> your... <laughs> yeah. As your woofer reserves and your wild turkeys and others, they don't necessarily have that fruit forward. Gotcha. So that's where the Woodenville goes from. Oh, and also another one, the Charles Woodson's um, new bourbon. See, I haven't had that yet. Yeah, you were it saying that. It tastes a lot like this because of the apple profile. Of apple. Yeah. But this tastes like the older version mm -hmm. of Charles Woodson's current one. If, they, if he aged that a year, he... You yeah. talk about uh, so great So, aged product. another year or so, it it's would be this. this. Would okay, be I got this. you. All right, that makes sense. I, I haven't had that yet, so... uh Charles Wilson, if you're looking, if you want to uh, donate a bottle for our show, uh, BBW, Beers, Bourbon, Whiskey Podcast. Uh, look, so, look, bro, we even, like, go blue. Right, go blue, we even got Come on together. Up. Go blue, baby. All right, so this is what I was going to say, though. I was really going to say Bro Brothers, though. And see, I know you didn't, You probably don't even remember it because you didn't like it. <laughs> so, or, or it made me like, a headache I, or some I, shit. At that day, it gave me a headache. So yeah. But I, and the only reason I say that because there's a there's a slight apple profile in the uh, Bro Brothers. Not not like this. This is a little more apple-y than, than most. Uh, but um, I think because of that, it reminds me of that. But like obviously that's a little lighter, so it's like it's a little. It's not as it's not as bold. But I think comparatively, I would I would say that. And because I say that, of course, that means I like this because I like Bro Brothers. And something that I didn't realize until having this. Uh, was really like the the actual taste in, the the actual apple taste in Bro Brothers until I had this. See, when I had that before, I was still kind of you know a virgin to it sort of. So to have something comparable, like I can actually I can see the difference now. So I really want to know what this uh this cigar uh, this flathead tastes like with uh, some Bro Brothers. But unfortunately, I killed every bottle I had, so I don't, I don't have any more. <laughs> so shout out to the Bro Brothers if you're listening. You can donate. <laughs> A bottle or two to the cause of uh, beers, bourbon, whiskey podcast. All right, so uh, all right, let's go around, man. We gonna get out of here and see uh, how y'all felt about it. So, uh, militant man, we go, uh, <laughs> we gonna see what you say on a rating. All right, so zero, all right, because we ain't even gonna do one. We gonna do zero to five black power fists, man. How many fists do you get this? I get this. Uh... Four and a half. Mm, mm. Goddamn. Okay. Power fist. I say goddamn. <laughs> you ain't a ball, dog. You so <laughs> I ain't a ball. Man, that shit like Angela Davis, Stokely Carmichael, and <laughs> Malcolm X, right? <laughs> right. Man. Fucking, man. fucking Minister Farrakhan. <laughs> <fucking Yeah. this. laughs> you scared to death, me, <laughs> <right. laughs> Angry principal, man. What you say, bro? I'm going to give it three fists and three fingers. Mm, okay. 3.3 right <laughs> 3 yeah. okay. This is a first now. We ain't never had fingers I got to get some fingers We didn't game a half I want to get .2s and stuff like that So you know 3.3 3, .3. three yeah. fists and okay. 3 yeah. fingers okay. That's it Shit <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, But this genuinely is In the rotation um, yeah. Especially if I'm not trying to Get lit lit Right I just want to sip on something That's mm -hmm. got enough of a mm -hmm. flavor profile That makes you appreciate like uh, good bourbon. Yeah, for sure. Um, I'm gonna give it a. Uh, I'm gonna give it a good three. Um, I want to give it the four, but I, I honestly like Bro Brothers better. A similar profile, I think, a little more 
Um, actually, a little more caramel or cream. I'm not sure which one. I think one. this might be a little older than Bro Brothers. Oh, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah, it for sure is, yeah, because you can tell just in the boldness of it. So, it's the color, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think the the is a, is a little bit... I think it's a little bit less sweetness in the uh, Bro Brothers that make the apple stick out a little bit more, and it just makes it a little more smooth. So I, I still like Bro Brothers better. So I'm willing to give uh, Woodenville the you know the good three. Um, everyday sipper? I ain't gonna lie to you. Probably not. I don't really like. It's cool. It's good. Like I'm gonna definitely have my fair share of it. <laughs> but <laughs> like if it's sitting there and the Bro Brothers sitting there and the Uncle Near sitting there and course the uh buffalo trace in there i'm probably just gonna have dust on it <laughs> you know what i'm saying so especially after uh i found this and this is way off subject but i found a brand new love for uh wild turkey 101 dog that is as you see is a corner uh sitting right behind you and shit but uh yeah i, I found a new love slash obsession with uh, <laughs> wild turkey 101 it's classic it's classic and you know what else is classic still man to this day man evan williams is still classic to me dog the cheapest shit like on earth, but like it's I love that shit. I don't like, know if it's classic. It's, I, I, for me, it's classic. I I, I, I would say it, it's it, it's definitely a a, a good six man. You yeah. know, it, it, it come up a bit. <laughs> it ain't no starter. It's no, coming off the bench. It's coming off the bench. It's, it's a good six man. I, I, I guess you know if that's what we're doing. Uh. <laughs> It's, it's, it's like a vet, you know, looking yeah. out for, the, for the, the younger cats and shit, you know. He's a mentor. The mentor, there you go. Well, like a motherfucking player coach. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tree Rollins and shit. Tree Rollins. Yeah. Damn. I remember Tree Rollins had a hoop card and shit. He got a suit on him over the player coach. Get the fuck out of here, dog. Oh, man. Hey, look, thank you to everybody checking us out today, man. If you've never had Woodenville, go ahead and check it out for yourself. Uh, check out our review. If you like it or disagree or agree, whatever, just uh, comment into the YouTube page. If you're watching this right now, make sure that you do click the subscribe button. And if you're listening, make sure you click the subscribe button as well. And let's do something new. Let's leave some comments. All right? <laughs> let's actually leave some comments on there and let us know what you think. Uh, we out here. Till the next time, though. You already know what it is, man. BBW. Everybody loves beers, bourbon, whiskey. Uh, I got Militant Man in the building. <laughs> Throwing up the deuces. Right. For angry, those that can't see me. So. Got angry principal holding it down. Drink what you like, how you like. My man Bo in the building. I oh, sure. And of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live for 8205, man. Peace out, y'all.